Hi, I'm Tim Bean, and today I'm talking to you live from the Global Health Conference here in Kaohsiung in Taiwan. In an interesting session I've just attended, conducted by Professor Dr. Michael Steffel from the Charles University in Prague, a meta-study that him and other colleagues conducted was looking at the effects of sarcopenia, uh, particularly in the sedentary populations. Sarcopenia is the condition of muscle loss, and of course sedentary populations include anybody who spend most of their day sitting. If you work in any sort of a business these days, chances are that's probably you. In the study, it was demonstrated that once we include activity into that sedentary lifestyle, in most cases, sarcopenia was reduced. In other words, people were able to improve their muscle tone. However, in one important study, Goodman and others, 2013, it was revealed that exercise actually accelerated or increased muscle loss. When they investigated this anomaly, it turned out that the type of exercise was really important. In Goodman's study, it was endurance or aerobic exercise that was engaged, but not strength training. So it seems that if you want to improve your postural strength, improve your structural strength and your functional strength, it's not aerobic training that will do it. In fact, that could do you more damage than good. It's strength training that will make the difference. So there you have it, the cutting edge science behind preventing sarcopenia or muscle loss, particularly in a sedentary occupation. If you're in a leadership role of any kind, chances are that's probably you. If you'd like more information, there is more coming out in our forthcoming book, The Wealthy Body in Business. That's been published by Bloomsbury in March of next year, 2017, so do keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, I'm Tim Bean from the Institute of Physique Management. Thanks for watching.